Okay, uh, we've watched the critical drinker video on this. Now, <laughs> finally, Ryan unfortunately watched this movie and we've got a pitch meeting. This should be based on things I've heard and then obviously the critical drinker video. This should be one of the best Borderlands. Uh, well, not Borderlands, but this should be the best pitch meeting in a long time, I, I imagine. We've had some really good ones lately. The lecture was really good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's let's get right into it. And uh, oh, I'm ready, though. I'm ready. So let's let's go. So you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we make a Borderlands movie. Oh, yeah. Weren't those games super popular like a decade ago? Why make that now? Well, sir, the best time to Why? make a movie was 10 years ago. The second best time is nine years ago. Well, yeah, that would have been better, <laughs> but I'm doing like eight years ago. Also good, but I'm doing a play on that quote, you know, about planting trees, how the best time was 20 uh, years ago, but the second best time is now. Uh, well, as you know, movies are trees, so I'm sold. So tell me about this thing. Right, so on the Let's planet Pandora, we're going to meet this guy, Roland. And in the game, he's like this big, oh serious soldier guy. We should get Kevin Hart to play him. Oh, that's kind of the exact opposite vibe of what I said. <laughs> yeah, then we could start the movie with a joke about his height. Okay, that is good, and I can't believe oh nobody's done that before. But Roland's okay. like the straight man in this movie. Yeah, let's cast Kevin Hart as the serious character in a comedy action movie. <laughs> well, okay then. So Roland kidnaps this girl, Tiny Completely Tina, from a prison. And then this other prisoner, Krieg, smashes through his glass cell and joins them. How is he even being held in a cell made of glass. Was that the first time he attempted that? Hey, shut up. So then on this other planet, we're going to meet Lilith, who's like a young, oh rebellious bounty hunter. We should get Kate Blanchett to play her. Oh, she's great. Isn't she in her 50s? Yeah, a great actress. Yeah. Okay, and then there's this other young scientist lady named young. Tannis. Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> she's in her 60s, right? Yes. Okay, look, sir, I just got to come out and say this. Is that a little miscast? Oh, oh I'm God. glad you asked. It's actually a little Mr. Cast. See, I gave him a little mustache and everything. Very cute. And great actor Mr. choices, by cast. the way. Thank you. Anyway, so Lilith gets hired by this guy, oh, Atlas, to go rescue his daughter, Tina. Okay. So she goes to Pandora, where she was born, and meets this little robot, Claptrap. And what's his deal? Well, I was oh, thinking God. that with this character, we set out to make one of the most beloved comedy actors of our time into just the most annoying <laughs> thing on the planet. That sounds like a fun challenge. Let's get Jack Black to say grating things oh, every God. two to three seconds. Just stuff that barely has anything to do with anything. That sounds perfect. And let's make it all the comedic equivalent of saying, well, that just happened. <laughs> Amazing. So they track down Tina, and turns out she doesn't want to be rescued, that's, and now she's teamed up with bar. Roland and Krieg as well. Why is Roland protecting her? He's a rogue mercenary soldier. Yeah, why did he go rogue? Because he's got, he's, 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 that stack of paper seems kind of thin. Yeah, so they must have had one of those freaking meat cutes on the way here. What? You know when you bump into a girl and your papers go flying everywhere, and then you make eye contact as you're both getting up? Did you forget to pick up all the papers? I, for, oh I always forget to pick up a bunch of the papers after meat cutes. Well, that's okay. We don't really need to know why the characters do what they do. Okay, thank oh, goodness. God. So what happens now? Okay, well, now they've all decided to protect Tina, and they're being pursued by Atlas's army, led by this lady named Knox. Okay, so now we've got a fun team of outer Isn't space lady misfits. From, uh, just like Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that's Star Wars always game. fun. You see, the trick to a good Guardians of the Galaxy vibe is to make all the characters just kind of jerky. And make sure they have good, funny chemistry together, I guess. Oh, easy there. I can't do both those things. Sorry. You're trying to get me to walk and chew gum at the same time over here, and I won't stand for it. I apologize. We'll just stick to one of those what? two things, whichever you think is the most important. The unlikable one. So they're going to do funny stuff. You know, they're going to drive through a field of urine. Err, uh, pee fields are tight. So what are they trying to accomplish anyway? Oh, well, see, there's the urine. Err, uh, pee fields are tight. So what are they trying to accomplish anyway? Oh, well, see, there's this that vault that was... contains powerful, Sheesh. uh, it's stuff that makes you powerful. <laughs> Whoa, but you need three keys Whoa. to open it. Oh, so they need to find three keys? Well, they already have one key, and they just kind of mm -hmm. stumble on another, and supposedly Tina is the third key. What do you mean? There's this prophecy that the third supposedly. key is supposed to be the daughter of this ancient race from Pandora, and she's been genetically engineered to be that. Oh, so Atlas wants to use her to become vaguely powerful. Exactly. So the good guys need to make it to the vault before he can get in to... Oh, they probably shouldn't be heading there. That's fine. So they're going to encounter several obstacles along the way. 
which will happen legally, making this oh, a movie. Oh, they shouldn't be. Things. Legally, so you're going to have to go through this way, which will happen legally, making this a movie. <laughs> what kind of things? They're going to have to go through this sewer type area where maybe they'll fall in toxic waste or something. Oh. Yeah, you know how in video games sometimes you got to go through an area. This is an area, and they're going to go through it. Video game adapted. Sometimes. And since guns are a huge thing in the game, there are going to be several big gunfights. Oh, tell me about those. Well, picture oh this, sir. Shots of the characters firing bullets off screen and a shaky camera movement and then another <laughs> shot of a character falling. I can only assume that the bad guys are being hit by those bullets. Exactly, although it will be hard to say, again, bloodless. because of the shaky cam. Very exciting. Maybe. Shaky so cam and bloodless. So eventually everybody gets Maybe. to the vault, oh but turns God. out Tina's not the key. It's Lilith. Oh. Which is a big twist. <laughs> oh, that's better. And then there's going to be... And so eventually everybody gets to the vault, but turns out Tina's not the key. It's Lilith. Oh. Which is a big twist. Oh. Oh! That's better. And then there's gonna be this moment where that lady knocks, she switches oh, sides. Uh, How come? I'm not sure, but she's killed instantly. Oh. Okay, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really affect anything in oh any God. way, but there no. are worse ways to spend 30 seconds of screen time, I guess. So now Lilith has to defend everybody from Atlas's army. Is that oh gonna be God. hard to do? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, since she's the chosen one, she now turns into a big old firehawk and yeah, saves the day. Isn't that fire the power she has in the game? Yeah, so fans of the game won't be surprised and non-fans of the game won't know what that's about basically yeah <laughs> who is this movie for <sighs> Who is this movie for? <laughs> Sir, I'll tell you who this movie's for. Uh -oh. This movie's for that little boy who's a fan of Borderlands, and he's always wondered why there's no movie. But he's not such a fan that he, like, knows all this stuff, because he's <laughs> pretty mad about the weird decisions we're making. But he's aware, vaguely, he's got a vaguely positive feeling about <laughs> Borderlands as a concept. And maybe, maybe that's enough to buy a ticket. Oh, my that's God who this movie's for. <laughs> wow. Well said. What? The thing is, I'm not sure that boy exists. <laughs> so we might be in some trouble here. Oh, I gotta go back. War. Oh my God. Who is this movie for? <laughs> who is this movie for? Oh my God. Sir, I'll tell you who this movie's for. This movie's for that little boy who's a fan of Borderlands and he's always wondered why there's no movie. But he's not such a fan that he, like, knows like, all this well. stuff because he'd get pretty mad about the weird decisions we're making. But he's aware, <laughs> vaguely, the stuff because he'd get pretty mad about the weird decisions we're making. But he's aware, vaguely, he's got a vaguely, vaguely positive feeling about Borderlands as uh. a concept. <laughs> and maybe, maybe that's enough to buy a ticket. That's oh my God. who this movie's for. Wow. Well said. <laughs> The thing is, I'm not sure that boy exists. I'll say that we might be in some trouble here. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh my God. Box office couldn't even break $10 million. It was like 8.8, .8, wasn't it? Like a little, maybe nine, a little, a little bit over nine. Oh my God. Let me just check this real quick. Hi, this is Ryan George from ah, The Thing yeah, You let's, Just Watched. Let's just Please let's enjoy see. this slideshow from The Thing You Just Watched. <laughs> all the all the crazy face shots of course that sure oh god that's hilarious he <laughs> said seems like a miscast is that a miscast it's actually a mr cast <laughs> oh oh my goodness that was so funny yeah this it did not disappoint it did not disappoint i enjoyed it I thoroughly enjoyed it. The, just the way he goes about like explaining who's this movie for. He could do that for a number of uh, movies, actually. Uh, <laughs> who is this movie for? Who is it for? Borderlands, I don't know who it was for. I mean, clearly, the person he described, I wish they were out there. Maybe one of them was part of that less than $10 million box office there. You know, they, they bought a ticket. <laughs> Maybe. But uh, <laughs> he's like, I don't think that that child exists. I don't think. Yeah, this is again, this is one I don't want to watch in theaters. I will not do that. It's going to be on streaming pretty soon. Pro video on demand, I'm sure, at first, because they want to try to get their money back. But I think I read something saying, you know, they're trying to just put it on streaming. They're going to just bypass theaters and uh, they're going to go ahead and do uh, do streaming. Borderlands on streaming. What's it going to be on, actually? Now I think about it. Heads home in 11 days. Okay. 
So yeah, there, there's already like information on this. Why is that so large? Oh my God. Okay. There we go. It's, it's out of there. Let me, uh, oh, come on. Just let me look at the, the thing here. <clears throat> there we go. Hello. Uh, <laughs> so the massive, massive box office miss will be headed to digital platforms on August 30th, 11 days from now. And just three weeks after it released in theaters on August 9th. When did this uh, actually come out? On the 19th. Okay, so 11 days from the 19th. Okay, just so you're aware. It doesn't mean it will be streaming on a specific service for free. Okay. But rather be available for digital purchase and rental on August 30th in places like Amazon Prime Video or Apple TV, Vudu, all that kind of stuff. Fandango at home, I'm sure. It'll make its way to being on an actual service later, but not yet. Lionsgate Movies stream a lot of places so i'm not sure where that would be this is forbes they don't even have the information okay <clears throat> there we go borderlands remains one of the worst reviewed major movies of the year with a 10 percent critic score which also puts it around the bottom 10 of all video game movie adaptations in history this was not offset by a mass surge of fan support from gamers and in two weekends now the film has only made 18 million worldwide worldwide on a budget north of 120 million in marketing costs on top of that. It stands, as it stands, it's probably going to lose $100 million or more. 18 million worldwide for a major release. That's insane. Insane. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you'll see that, not, I'm trying to think, not even like like some of those you know Chinese foreign films that are like big over there and sometimes come over here and make a little bit of money. Worldwide, those still make a lot of money, especially, you know, in China or just in Asia. They go crazy. But this is one that was, you know, made here, I think. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know where they filmed this thing. Uh, probably in a studio lot. Um, and it did not do well at all. 18 million worldwide. That's horrendous. Uh, oh, it goes, goes to box office mojo. Oh, look at that. Uh, all right, look, it's gone up a little bit. <laughs> just, just a tad. Just a tad. Uh, we're at 22.4 million again, worldwide, 14 million domestic, <laughs> almost 8 million international. That's insane. Insane. Look at these numbers. It is horrible. Wow. <clears throat> well, uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's Borderlands. This is awesome pitch meeting. Can't wait for if, you know, if honest trailers, I'm sure they'll, they'll do one eventually. Um, so we'll, we'll check that out and do a versus at that time. Pitch meeting, I'm pretty sure is going to be the winner of that. No matter what, that's just, you know, I'm not trying to play favorites. It's just the way it goes most times. So that's that, uh, your thoughts though, in the comments below, we already talked about it a little bit, but let me know your thoughts. If you watched it for sure, did you enjoy it? I only know of one person that watched it and they said that they actually liked it. I don't believe them, but um, I don't <laughs> I don't believe them enough to be like, oh, what you liked it? I'm gonna go check it out. No, but most of the people that I trust, Jeremy Johns, Dan Morrell, obviously Ryan George. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to the, their reviews, mm -mm, I'm not gonna mess with it. So that's me. Thanks so much for watching, though. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully you had a big laugh like me, because again, a lot of this was just freaking hilarious so i love this one uh let me know your thoughts again in the comments below check out the description down below uh if you want to see more information on the equipment i use if you're interested in that as always appreciate you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video take care